Hello and welcome to VOP Business Show. I'm Joy Adesua Eromoseli. The Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, disclosed that it has begun the relocation process of its foreign airlines and others from the old International Airport Terminal to the new terminal. In a statement, spokesman for FAN, Abdullahi Yakubu Funtao, stated that the move was necessitated following the unfortunate fire incident that occurred at the International Terminal 1 last Wednesday. The Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Mr. Festus Kayamo, had during his maiden visit to the Lagos Airport directed the managing director, FAN, to relocate airlines to the new International Terminal while the Terminal 1 will be shut down from 1st October 2023 with a view to improving passenger experience and for total overall of the terminal. The agency, however, pleaded with all travellers to be at the airport early enough to complete their check-in formalities on time in order not to miss their flight due to the ongoing changes at the airport. Nigeria Customs Service NCS has deactivated some revenue collecting banks from the service of the organization following audit reports that showed the banks were holding back government revenues. The NCS yesterday stated that the acting control general Bashar Adeniyi took the decision because the selected authorized dealer banks failed to meet the service level agreements related to customs duty and statutory charge remittances. The NCS, however, did not name the banks, although it cautioned stakeholders against using the deactivated banks. According to the NCS, the decision follows a thorough audit and due process aligning with the NCS's commitment to uphold transparency, accountability and e efficiency in revenue collection. In the statement signed by the National Public Relations Officer and Chief Superintendent of Customs, Abdullahi Mawada, the NCS noted that despite the deactivation of these banks, the Comptroller General has implemented measures to minimize disruptions from importers and stakeholders within the trading ecosystem. NCS also noted that the deactivated banks will have the opportunity to be reactivated once they meet all regulatory requirements and settle outstanding remittances. Members of the Monetary Policy Committee of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, have projected a continuous decline in the federal government's fiscal deficit in the third quarter and fourth quarter of this year. They based their projections on the recent efforts by the government to manage expenditures better and also improve oil and non-oil revenues. This was revealed in their personal statements contained in the CBN MPC Communique 149. Speaking on the fiscal sector, Professor Adenikinju Adeola, a member, explained that both the government revenue and expenditure underperformed between January and May 2023. He explained that the federal government retained revenue stood at 1.7 trillion naira, lower than the pro rata the Prodata target of 1.96 trillion naira due to the underperformance of Federation Account Allocation Committee receipts and gross independent revenue. However, on the positive side, it stated that the total federal government expenditure as of May 2023 was 4.8 trillion naira, 27.8% lower than the budget estimate of 6.6 .6 trillion naira. The shortfall came mainly from allocation from debt service, interest on ways and means, and capital expenditure. On his part, another member, Professor Obadon Mike, noted that although the new government is making serious efforts to boost revenue generation, fiscal deficits and associated public debt accumulation will continue to elicit deep concerns. Meanwhile, the MPC members also called for review of border closure to increase food supply in the country, while expressing concern on the decline in the growth of agricultural sector in the first quarter of 2023. The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission yesterday issued a new regulatory instrument 
instrument or other targeted at achieving faster handling of consumers' complaints in the power sector. The instrument of order on deployment of custom engagement platform aims to provide guardians on the minimum standards for the deployment of all of all call centers by DISCOs pursuant of the Electric Act and standardized call centers deployed by DISCOs for seamless integration with the Commission's call center. However, in its first quarter 2023 report, NERC disclosed that the DISCOs cumulatively received 249,683,000 complaints from consumers in the first quarter of 2023. This is 11,595, which is 4.44% complaints less than those received in the fourth quarter of 2022. In total, the discourse resolved 229,100 complaints corresponding to a 91.8% resolution rate, which is similar to the 91.4% recorded in the fourth quarter of 2022. According to the National Bureau of Statistics report, Nigeria recorded a positive trade balance of 1.28 trillion naira in the second quarter of 2023, as total merchandise trade stood at 12,742 billion naira. Total exports stood at 7.01 trillion naira, which is an 8.2% increase from 6.5 trillion naira recorded in the first quarter. Total imports amounted to 5.7 trillion naira, representing a 2.99% increase compared to 5.6 trillion naira recorded in the first quarter of 2023. Export trade in the second quarter of 2023 was dominated by crude oil exports valued, valued at 5.6 trillion naira, accounting for 79.6% of the total export, while non crude oil exports value stood at 1.4 trillion naira or 20.4 percent of total exports exports by section revealed that nigeria exported mainly mineral products which amounted to 6.4 trillion naira or 90.9 percent of the total export value followed by veg vegetable product products which were valued at 217.1 billion naira and base metal and articles of base metal worth 128.3 billion naira exports trade by region in the second quarter of 2023 shows that nigeria exported most products to europe with goods valued at 3.2 trillion naira followed by exports to asia valued at 1.7 trillion naira exports to america was valued at 1.4 trillion naira while exports to other african countries stood at 747.8 billion naira of which 425.7 billion naira worth of goods were exported to ECOWAS countries the value of total trade in agricultural goods in the second quarter of 2023 stood at 735.7 .7 billion naira of which exports were valued at 280.9 billion naira on the other hand total imports total imports of agricultural goods stood at 454.9 billion naira this is a decrease of 3.5 percent when compared to the value recorded in the first quarter of 2023 and by 2.1 percent when compared to 464.5 billion naira recorded in the second quarter of 2022 Taxes paid by manufacturers in 2023 increased by 115% from 192 billion naira in the first quarter to 414.5 billion naira in the second quarter. This data was revealed by the National Bureau of Statistics from various companies' income tax and value-added tax reports. According to findings, in the first quarter of 2023, manufacturers paid 62.9 billion naira as CIT, while of 129.2 um, billion naira was paid as value-added task. In the second quarter, the VAT paid by 
manufacturers increased by 17% to 151.7 billion naira, while CIT increased to 262.7 billion naira. This meant that manufacturers paid at least 607 billion naira in CIT and VAT in the first six months of the year. The data also showed that across the VAT and CIT remittance in 2023, the manufacturer sector was the most taxed sector in the first and second quarters of the year. The issues include multiple taxes, charges, levies, ranked third only behind energy costs and high cost of credit and inadequacy of loanable funds. Also, in an earlier report, manufacturers had raised the alarm that the federal government had resorted to passing the burden of its 77 trillion naira debt on the real sector via an aggressive tax regime. Nigerian foreign exchange earnings grew in the first six months of 2023 as the foreign trade surplus rose to 2.22 trillion naira. This was as the, as the country sought new avenues to increase its foreign exchange earnings. According to new data from the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's total import bill stood at 11.3 trillion naira, while total exports amounted to 13.3 trillion naira, indicating that the country was able to earn 2.22 trillion worth of foreign exchange in the process. This was as foreign trade fell by 12.7% to 24.8 trillion naira in the first six months of 2023 from the 28.4 trillion in the corresponding period of 2022. Despite the decline in trade, the country's surplus increased by 258.2% from the 618.8 billion in the first quarter of 2022. On foreign trade in the first quarter of 2023, the NBS stated that in the second quarter of 2023, Nigeria's total trade stood at 12.7 trillion naira, total exports stood at 7.0 trillion naira, and total imports amounted to 5.7 trillion naira. Total exports increased by 8.2% when compared to the amount recorded in the first quarter of 2023, but declined by 5.2% compared to the corresponding quarter in 2022. The Naira yesterday appreciated to 736.62 per, per, per dollar at the investors and exporters window. The foreign exchange rate movement re represents a 4.5% percent appreciation of the local currency from the 771.59 naira recorded on the last trading day. Data from FMDQ Securities Exchange, a platform that oversees foreign exchange trading in Nigeria, showed that the official window recorded a low a low of 7, 700 naira and a high of 799.90 naira to the dollar yesterday. And that's it on Business Show on VOP TV. I'm Joy Adesua Irambasela. Do well to subscribe and engage with us on YouTube. It is Voice of the People TV and on all the social media channels at VOP TV Live. Many thanks for watching. Okay, I go slap you. <laughs>